Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to do a quick video on this journal that I finished. This is a custom order. Um, this order was uh, requested by Kathy. And um, I wanted her to look at the whole book before, you know, we took the next step on it. I want to make sure she likes it. Uh, I think her last name is Spindle, if I'm not mistaken. Kathy. And, um, oh, here we go. Came a little chunky. She said she wanted a journal about her mother and that her mother, may she rest in peace, and that her mother loved butterflies. So I used this cover, uh, both front and back, and uh, I felt this image was perfect for her to, um, being that it was, uh, she wants to journal about her mother, so I thought this was the perfect picture for it. So I hope my lighting is um, cooperating with me, but here we go so let's go on the inside I tried not to make it too chunky because she wants to journal in there um, which I think I left space <laughs> but let's see so this is the first page I'm not liking the way the lighting is looking uh, what do I do here but, okay, so, I don't know if the lighting, I'm not liking the way it is. I think I should have moved the camera. But, okay. So this is the first page. This um, book is made out of a, a book page, I'm sorry, paper bag. But I went ahead and put um, design uh, designer paper, both on front and back of it. And then I sewed around it. And then I created this larger uh, book page pocket so that it would fit perfectly on the page. Um, I think this measures eight or eight and a half. Uh, okay, it's about eight and a quarter to almost six. <clears throat> So here we go. So I did a little bit of collaging there, and then just some flower, some uh, piece of lace, eyelash trim, and the front pocket. I just have a little envelope, and this is from Tsunami Rose, just a small tiny envelope, and then I have this um, journaling card that I got from Pinterest, and that just goes there. In the back, I have one of these envelopes that I had uh, created a tutorial on. This one I didn't add very much because I wanted to tuck it on the inside of the pocket. And on the inside, I found a lot of uh, awesome images of uh, old uh, letters. Um, so I printed out a few and I just wanted to add in the envelope and there's more envelopes throughout the book and I went ahead and did the same thing so I figured that would look like a letter that was in there Mama, and she can I want a this book that's an extension cord mommy's making a video okay I want a this book it's to connect stuff that kids should not be connecting can I have it no please You're lucky I'm on video, little boy. Anyways, go play. But don't connect that. Okay? Got it? Okay. Stay away from the kitties. Okay, here we go. So, I left a blank in the back for her to journal. We found a, a little short extension cord that I have in the room. And, um... He loves to play with stuff like that. I don't know. He's not a normal child. <laughs> He loves to play with appliances, the broom, you know, anything that has to do with the house and not toys. I mean, he gets bored of the toys real easily. He plays with my hangers. I mean, that kid is so funny. He loves to play with the toothpaste, the toothbrushes. Oh my goodness, I have to watch, watch out for him. <laughs> but, okay, so this is the image that I chose for this page. And then on this side, I have another book page pocket. And I went ahead and inserted these two items. This is one that I purchased 
Oh my god, I named her on my other video. Christy Art Designs, I think. And um, this is for Pinterest. And those just pop in there. And I have a little bit of fabric there, a little flower. And then here I have a, um, a layaway tag. Here I just put a, a paper napkin and I just uh, used my little glue mixture thingy um, and glued it down and distressed it so give it a give it a little bit of a vintage look here I left it plain here I have a corner pocket and then I did some stamping some little butterflies and these images came from Pinterest and I just backed them on a book page <coughs> and then I added this uh, paper that I got on uh, Office Depot. No, Home Depot, sorry. So she could journal in the back. I was going to just sew it, but instead I decided to go that way. And this one also came from um, Pinterest. And I just backed it on a piece of... Uh, oh, actually, this is a, a book page. <coughs> I mean, how you get the books, and there's always a couple of pages that are clear. That's where that came from. And then here I just have a little bit of layering. And then on this side, I just took this little piece and I just added a little image. And it's just, this is just a piece of paper. I just sewed her in there, distressed the edges, and then added some, some fabrics and lace, little flower, and I left it as a tuck. So then I just got one of these uh, library cards that you can get at Denise's shop over at a Tattered Dream. I just, um, ah! So pieces of paper, did some stamping, a little butterfly, so she can journal in the back and she still has space to journal there. And I just tucked that in there <coughs> for her. And then on this side I have another book page pocket. Again, some more layering. This uh, here I, I used a little bit of uh, lavender colors. And I got this from Pinterest and I loved it because of the colors and it has a butterfly. So I thought that went perfect in there and then I have this piece here and I think this came from Tsunami Rose. And all my my images, uh, I think I did the same to all of them. And then on this side I have a beautiful image of this lady. And some layering. On this side I went ahead and got this piece of... Can I go play with this? Okay, but let mommy finish the video, okay? Uh, 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 tell me, are you done? I'll tell you when I'm done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, and then on here I have this strip. This came from Tsunami Rose. Uh, she has a butterfly, a pepper kit. And I think it was the three lines of the butterflies and I just went ahead and cut them in um, little strips glued them onto some book page sewed around it distressed it and used it as a little tuck so then I inserted this little oh my goodness I, think, I don't think I set my camera right but I just went ahead and inserted so that I could use it as a little tuck there maybe if I just keep it in the bottom huh <laughs> And then here I have another beautiful image and this also came from Pinterest. On this side I have another one of my book pages and this one was created out of a music book. And then I just have this image here. This one also came from Christy Art Designs on, on uh, Etsy. This one is from Pinterest. And it just pops there. Almost time to wake up a No, it's not time. It's till 2.45. Go over there. Mommy's trying to do video. Okay? Okay. All right. Then here I have another pocket. Again, some layering there. This one also came from Pinterest. And of course, it has butterflies. I thought that was kind of neat. And perfect for this book. And then here, I just have this piece of ephemera, and this came from Tsunami Rose. 
here I have another envelope and it's holding this pretty image and this came again from Pinterest and I added this little flower only because I wanted the decoration on there but because it's holding my little ah, hold on I'm gonna tear it it's holding this envelope and on the inside I have this piece of ephemera that and this one just holding that image real quick and then on this side I have another beautiful image and again more layering on this side I have a corner pocket again some layering this is a fabric this image came from Pinterest Here again, I have another little tuck with that uh, little strip. In these two images, this is a preview at Junk Journal Junkies, and this came from Christie Art Designs. And that's IE at the end. I think a lot of people couldn't find her. And well, I should have put the link, but I sent the link to some people. But yeah, I, I um, need to add her down because she has a lot of awesome... Um, digital kits too but here we go here's another pocket this one also came from um, Pinterest that just pops there this one came from Tsunami Rose and then again a little layering there a little flower here I have one of these uh, pockets uh, tag pockets but I glued that one down and I added some little lavender color there. I thought it went well with her. And then here I just put a little button with pieces of fabric. And then this this tag. And I think this came from um, Christy, Christy Art Designs on Etsy. And there's that image. Here she has some nice space for journaling. I just got a little birdie right there on top of a little flower. Here again, I have one of those envelopes that um, go over the page. Here I have this image. This also came from Pinterest. And then she just has an envelope. And I think this one, yeah, I just left this one blank. And it's been copy dyed. And then I added this this uh, little tag for extra journaling and because it has a flower, I mean a butterfly. And then the envelope which serves as a tuck of this side, here's the other side of that um, um, little envelope. And I have this image there and it's just hooked onto a paper clip so she can remove it so she can journal on both sides of the page. So these are just tucked in the back. And then here is the envelope. She could uh, put something on the inside and then this is the pocket on the front. And there is a tutorial on that if anybody's interested. And then on this side I have a corner pocket and I did again some layering and then I have this image that also came from Pinterest. On this side I have one of these little side um, pockets and then I just added uh, some of this trim here and it has a tuck in the front which this image came from Pinterest. A little birdie because birdies go good with butterflies. And this is a pre-made journaling card that just checks in the back. 
And then on this side, I have one of these beautiful images. It's a postcard, and that came from Christie Art Designs. This one also came from Christie Art Designs. I love those. I printed them. Um, I've shrunk them down to decorate pockets. Um, I printed it out in a uh, what is it? A four by seven. Uh, Bye bye. I don't even know. I print them in different sizes. I think these are so pretty. Um, here's another image I have, and I just did some layering. You being a good boy? Just checking. And then on this side again, little piece of uh, of uh, three butterflies, backed up to some uh, book page. A book page. Here's another pocket. The year I have this journaling card, and this came from Tsunami Rose. This one as well. And this one came from Pinterest. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. I leave it all open. I left it open. But shh. Now I need to say thank you. Oh, thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then here I have a corner pocket with some pieces of fabric and lace. And then this one came from Pinterest. I hope the colors are coming out. Because I know my lighting is not where it's supposed to be. Now I light in my camera. I was supposed to move the camera. Here I stabbed some more butterflies. This is my favorite butterfly step. Here yeah, I have another wait, beautiful wait, wait. image. I'm coming home. Not yet. Uh-uh. Yeah. Shh. Mommy's filming, remember? Quiet. Ask me questions later. And then here I had made this tag actually a while ago. It had little Oh my god, what are they called? Okay. I can't remember. But they glow in the dark? <laughs> or they light up in the dark? Ah, okay. You guys know. You guys know. I don't even know what I'm trying to tell you. Here I have another image. And on this side I have another envelope. And here just some fabric buttons. And I did decorate this one because it was not going to go into a pocket. Here I have another tag that I um, I got from Pinterest. And I, I just took there. On this side I have a journaling card. And this came from Kaiser Crafts. And then this one is a freebie I got from some website. And I printed this out on some kind of peach color cardstock. This is from Pinterest. And this is from Tsunami Rose. Here she's got space for journaling. And this is the back of the pocket oh, of the pocket of the book. Same uh, pocket as the one in the front. And I just have this piece of ephemera and this came from um, Pinterest. Well they both did this one as well. Cute butterflies. And I forgot to mention on the both on the front and the back the pocket is open on the side here. So she could tuck things in here both in the front and in the back. I don't think I mentioned it but it's open here as well. So this is the book I created for Kathy. I hope she likes it. It's a little chunky, but um, she can always take some ephemera off if she doesn't want it that fat, you know? But uh, you know me, my books, they just, it's like an automatic for them to come out like that. But I added one of these little butterflies in the front only because, you know, that was her, her, um, mother's favorite butterfly so I, instead of a flower I had to put a, a butterfly but this is it thank you so much for watching guys um, 
I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.